all you're doing is I'm giving you a triangle. Now I'm telling you to evaluate for certain angles. Now remember, the angle is a huge difference. Knowing what the angle is makes all the difference in the world. Because if I'm asked, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. However, when the angle is 30 degrees, this is always my hypotenuse. However, when I'm talking about 30 degrees, remember the adjacent side is between 30 degrees and 90 degrees. Your adjacent side is always between your angle theta and 9 degrees. So this is my adjacent, and then this is going to be my opposite side. Okay, Always. However, what if I said, what's the sine of 60 degrees? If I said the sine of 60 degrees, just real quick, uh, let me go, I'll do this in a second. So I'll go back to that. So the sine of 30 degrees, does anybody remember on your focus lesson last class period what sine represented? Sine represented, yeah? It's opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So if you look at this triangle, the opposite side is 1 over your hypotenuse. 1 over 2. However, just a note, I'm going to erase this. What if I said, what is the sine of 60 degrees? Well, 60 degrees, this side is the adjacent. Because the adjacent is always between your angle and 90 degrees. So the sine of 60 degrees would be the square root of 3 over 2. Does everybody see why? If you don't, you might as well raise your hand now and ask questions. Yes? OK, do you understand why this is the adjacent of 30 degrees? Do you understand why this is the hypotenuse of the triangle? Yeah. OK. The adjacent side, the definition of adjacent, which is on your focus lesson last class period, the adjacent side is between your angle and the 90 degrees. Do you see how this side connects the angle and connects 90 degrees? Angle. Right. But this is what we're talking about, sine of 30 degrees. We're talking about 30 degrees. We're not talking about 60. We're talking about 30. Do you see how this side length connects 30 and 90? That's why it's the adjacent. Okay. However, to your point, now I'm talking about 60 degrees. So what is the side that connects 60 degrees with 90? This side. Do you see how the adjacent changes? It changes based on what angle we're talking about. Okay. Um, cosine, if you guys remember, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is the square root of 3 over 2. It is not a coincidence that the cosine of 30 is the same as the sine of 60. But we'll talk about that more later. Then the tangent of 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent. 1 over the square root of 3. However, ladies and gentlemen, please, 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 please get very, very used to simplifying radical expressions. We are not going to have a square root of 3 in the denominator. So the tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3. Okay. Now, in that last box, we're going to be teaching this stuff today.